Hello and welcome. Today we are at Legoland of Windsor and we're about to take a look around their big Lego store, which is the big shop. Now this is filmed for their Brick or Treat Halloween event, so it means this is done in October, which hopefully will mean you will spot some of the new October and September releases and spot any new artwork on the boxes that you've not seen before. So we're going to start with the Mythica sets, which is the exclusive Legoland sets that they've got. So all of these there are the different Legoland sets. And then we'll pan around and we'll have a look at the space set. So if there is anything new, and there's stuff that you haven't seen before and there's bits and pieces that are on your wish list let everybody else know in the comments below what catches your eye the space i think has been relocated i don't think that was there last time they've got all the space puzzles with all the other space sets as well and then as we loop around the corner this is where we have all the lego ideas created and all the lego icon sets so you have all of the new little bits and pieces in here you've got all the architectural sets as well coliseums roller coasters you've got the globes you've got all the friends sets Going up into Back to the Future, you've got the blue camper, the Vespa, the Prime, typewriter. You can see it for yourself. There are loads and loads of these Lego sets available. Now, directly behind me and to my left is the customization section, which is where you can do your mosaic. Now, on the Lego website, what they do now allow you to do is book your slot to make your own Lego figure up. So you would have seen, if you have seen the video, from me at billand and going through the amazing progress with the legendary staff over there from lean and michael they are both fantastic human beings they ended up making my own uh, lego figure for that but you can actually pre-book a time slot on the lego website for um activities within the shop as well so the there's all within the personalization studio. I think we might try and get round and have a look at the pub wall as well. This video, I don't think, is filmed how you would normally walk around the shop because it was very busy in clumps. Certain areas of the shop was empty, certain areas it was quite busy. So all I did was obviously I just filmed where there's nobody stood to give you guys as much content as possible with the guys actually being able to see things without people being in the way. But this is just your BAM stuff. So this is where you can build all your different minifigures up and you put three of your minifigures in just like you normally would do in one of the lego shops that's not what you have to book further down for this year they have added in the actual um minifigure torso print and all those sides of things which i think you have to physically book a time slot for i don't think you can just rock up and queue for it i don't know how many printers they've got i think they'll have i think they've got four because that's how many they've got at the lego house but i'm sure they've got four but if you can correct me and you have been recently, then please do let me know. But I'm, I'm going to say four, could be six. But this is your pub selection. Now, what they've done is you can now make up a car. So it's quite nice when they do this kind of thing. They did this in Dubai. They used to do it for the Ollie Dragon, which I hope one day they might actually bring back. But that was down at the much, much, I'm sorry to say, better and bigger pub selection down at the minifigs and more store just down below the whole store was just basically lego bricks on the one side and minifigures on the other and that shop i think might now be permanently closed anyway so we are just walking around where all the clothing are all the different towels and everything like that that those sections were busy so we're going to bolt over and have a look at the seasonal bits and pieces so you've got the halloween stuff to the left and then you've got all the christmasy decorationy stuff to the right hand side so you can see they've got a lot of new items with the polar bears and all of the little bits and pieces like that with lots of the nice christmas decorations the only thing that i couldn't see was the new uh winter christmas village um i know there's been a bit of confusion for some reason with the people in america because it's called something different on their website even though the box artwork is exactly the same it's called a christmas village over this way it's a holiday village over in the states but the artwork is exactly the same with the same name on the box so don't worry about that if you are a full collector and want every of those sets they're identical boxes just the name on the actual website is slightly different so don't panic too much right now we're coming around you've got all of the friend sets around here huge selection of friends that then links into all of the disney bits which then links into the harry potter which we do get back to at the end of the video because it was just such a popular area and then in the middle we've got all the brick heads and then we've got all the little teddy bears and then we will have a look at the new avatar sets as well which is on this side and then they'll be relocated onto the other side as well so there's lots of everything to have a look at which is it's a, a big area this bit this is it's very nice and spacious easy to get the push chairs and everything around it. it's extremely well stocked and the shelves are very very deep so they have you can see multiple sets of everything out and about which is brilliant so it's not like a case of if it is very very busy the likelihood of them selling out is more more minimal than anything else but then obviously at the same time if it's very very busy and you want to get some of the new buzz lightyear sets 
potentially they might be going quite quick. But you've got all of the easy grabbable stuff with regards to all the brickheads and everything on this one. And then you've got some teddy bears and you've got, I do believe, some bottles and other little bits and pieces dotted around within this section. So they have a bit of everything for everybody in this area, really, because you've got all the different themes with the minions. With now the new Avatar, you've got the Friends, like I said, the Ninjago, you've got all the Disney sets, um, they've put all the Disney licenses together, obviously minus the, minus the Star Wars stuff, that's in its own completely separate section. And then now this is all the brand new stuff that has just been released. So this is the first time seeing any of this artwork and any of the boxes for me. If you are a fan of this series, do you think you'll be getting them or have you already got them? Was it a day one release for you? Was it pre-order? How, how did you do it? And you can see that they've got something of everything. So that bottle is not an avatar. I do believe that is a Mythica bottle, but they have all of the other bits where they've got the larger Lego sets and then they've got the brick heads and they've got the other little bits and pieces like that just to sort of you to have a look at and have a play with. So if you are a fan of any of those sets, please let us know in the comments below. Now you can see they've got a huge amount of the teddy bears, which that area used to be the um, last chance section, which they still have over in Billing, but they don't have any more over in the UK. Now this says new, but obviously this is actually now just all for the Halloween bits and pieces. So you've got all the pumpkins and skeletons, you've got the Ghostbusters at the top, you've got some of the Super Mario spooky sets, and then you've got the more pumpkins and then this is the newer stuff so you've got the um the avatar sets again so that's probably why there's more avatar sets at the back because they would have sh they will be extending that at the front more than likely when the halloween bits and pieces go and then they've got some of the new dots some of the new painting ones so it's it, there's a lot to look at and bearing in mind that is one of the doors when you first come in that'd be one of the first things that you actually see as well now you've got ninjago and star wars side by side in two huge sections and i do believe you've got the marvel and dc close together and then you also have around the corner all the technic and the lego city set so very easy to find the different bits and pieces within this store and if there's any of the new sets that have come out in October for the Ninjago again let us know I say this all the time I really like the fact that they have now added in lots of these new glass cabinets or sorry plexiglass cabinets so you can easily see all the sets that you're going to be buying I like the fact that they've done that at this store this is something they never used to have until they had their amazing refurb and um, obviously they've extended it and everything else like that and it just looks it looks so much bigger cleaner and better in my eyes um as we come round, you can see that this is the newer Ninjago stuff, because I think the newer ones have the pink artwork on, so it's like the pinkish tinge to the box. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that links to the newer series that is either out or coming out. I want to say it's crystal something, but it's probably something more more exotic than that. But it would be, uh, be interesting to see when that final part of that episode gets released, because I know they have held on to that for, for quite a while, but the sets look very, very impressive. And you can see how many there are, and it carries on behind us. And obviously behind us, you've got all the backpacks, you've got everything else, uh, pencil cases. You know, so you've got some tins, books. And then you've got the bigger sets with the, the big Ninjago gardens and everything as well. So they have every single Ninjago set available, I think, to get. And they have multiple ones of them ready in time, I would imagine, for the half term for Halloween. Which I can imagine this shop being very, very busy. But you can see each section has its own sort of flag and banner up at the top so we're, we're going to be heading towards the star wars section now and you can see the marvel is behind it and the dc is beside that but you've got the 8080 at the bottom the falcon the massive block of cheese and then you have got the cantina as well and then you've got all the other sets that are made up above it the screens are working again behind it so you can see the planet behind that moves and it it's all starry and things so that'll keep changing so you can see where that one's just appeared behind that ship there's another big 8080 on the box on that one and then you've got all of these little diorama pieces that they've now started to started to add in so if you have collected any of these then let us know what they're like in the comments below are the builds good fun because they look very similar to this sort of architectural type sizes but it could be miles off on that one so if the details slightly different then obviously please do let us know in the comments below and the star wars keeps going so again we've got all the little bits and pieces at the bottom you can see the screen's working really well and then as we come up you've got all of the different helmets that are available at this precise moment in time and then it will continue so we now have a lot of different cars we've got all the speed champions and we've got all the lego technic sets as well and i think some of these sets are absolutely amazing i've really got my teeth sunk back into the smaller speed champions to add into the city just for effect and some of the cars and the builds are really really nice as well so i like bright colors and they have some nice bright colored cars out at the moment now into all of the lego city stuff this again is a huge selection of stuff multiple sets to pick up obviously they are doubled up and probably four or five deep as well and then we've got all of the 
figure packs and everything on all of the little pull-out shelves. It's a very impressive thing to walk around and see when it's quite quiet like this because you can just see how many sets there are and just how big this place is as well. And the Lego stunts seem to be going from strength to strength with regards to just the volume of sets that they're releasing and how quickly they are releasing. Has anybody made a massive sort of stunt arena? Are they going full in on all of those, sort of in, full in on this theme or... Is that not the kind of thing for you? Now they've got the modulars. They the, the some some of the modulars are dotted about. Um, I don't think the police station was up with the other modulars. I'm sure it would have been because I would have you know would have put all the the creator and the icon sets together. But originally at one point where the tills are, the tills never used to be there, and there used to be all of the big cabinets of sets that are built up, and they used to have um like a big city made up with all of the current modulars that are out and some of the older ones as well and some of the big lego creator sets at the time so this refurb has been a massive change with regards to everything of till location knocking walls through every single set is in a completely different location so it's very very impressive what they've done and i think it's much much area much much more spacious um, but yeah, so they've got they've just got a couple of one or two of the modular sets dotted, but it kind of makes sense it being there because it is with all of the Lego City sets anyway. So you'd obviously want a nice big police station with all of those sets. Now, as you come in through the other door, we came in through the one at the bottom, but if you come in through the top, this is what you'd be greeted with. You have all the big models which will have the brick count, how long it took to do, the weight of everything, and obviously they have their Christmas bits and pieces out already. So they've got all of the advent calendars ready to be purchased. And then what we'll do, we'll do a horseshoe round. So there's even more of the Star Wars Lego sets. So this is the smaller spaceships. And you, again, you've got the minifigure packs on the pegs. And then you've got the, even the micro builders. And you've got some of the brick heads. And you've got all the books about the Mandalorian. And you've got load. There was a load of the um, minifigure packs just underneath that. I, I didn't stop because, as always, I'm just too busy, but I didn't have the camera pointed at the right direction. But they had boxes and boxes of the trooper packs, I do believe. Now, into the Jurassic Park, which then I think goes into the Marvel. So, again, some of these sets are relatively newer. Some of them, not so much. But you have got the Daily Bugle underneath this, and then you've got the figures from the Infinity Saga as well. And then you've got the Doctor Strange, obviously the new Doctor Strange set. Has anybody picked that one up? What do you think of the figures and everything that it comes with? You then have the massive tribute Black Panther set. Um, obviously, it's it's done for for a, a very good reason with Chad Boswick, I do believe. Um, not so much with the new film coming out, but you know, it's uh, it's one of those that would be a massive centerpiece if you were a massive Black Panther fan. And you've got all of the other Marvel stock that is currently out, and they're having a big battle with all of the DC stock. So on the one side you've got the Marvel, on this side you've got all of the different type of Batman that are out sets-wise. Who, if you have any of these, then let us know. And you've got a, a whole range of different Batman movies to pick from as well. But again, they did not have the classic 60s uh, Batman, the red one. So they didn't have that one in. But they've still got some of the Carnage and Venom heads in. And then as we're coming round, you have got Thor's hammer, which is at the bottom there. And then you've got some of the new Spidey sets and some of the 4 Plus sets as well, which do come actually with some half-decent figures, to be honest. So... If you are a minifigure collector, make sure you pay attention to some of the minifigs that are in the 4 Plus sets. Right, I am slowly starting to run out of time as we're coming around the Minecraft stuff. So if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Hopefully you're looking forward to getting here for the month of October. And if you are watching this after October, it's still going to be open over the Christmas period as well. So you have even more new sets to look forward to before the end of this year. So again, in the comments below, let us know what you're looking forward to with regards to what's on your shopping list or even your Christmas list. And are there any little sets that you would like to pick up next time you come? Remember Remember, if you have a Merlin pass, you then get a set percentage off, I do believe, depending on what pass you are, what colour pass that you have, and you don't receive any of the VIP points, but you can save quite a good amount of money. So as we come round, we will then, again, I did say, have a look at the Harry Potter bits and pieces, which I do believe they have the new train in, in box, um, so that'll be... Be interesting to see how many of those they sell from here because you will have a massive saving from here compared to, for example, your actual local Lego store. Because I don't even think when the sets are on double points, you get the money's worth of points back that you would save with your Merlin Pass. 
if my maths are correct. So, which it could not be. So I would I would sort of work that out for yourself just in case. Now it'd be I would love it if they made a Sega Mega Drive version of one of these. Um, but they've got the Atari out and they've got the Nintendo as well. So if you are a gamer. Is that something that you have collected, and how would you how do you display it as well? What do you, do you just plonk it on a shelf, or have you sort of tried to incorporate it into some kind of into some kind of display? But we have just over one minute left, so what we will do is we'll have a quick look at all of these Harry Potter sets. Again, you can see they got loads of them, and then you have got some more Minecraft sets, I do believe, just there. But they have got some of the bigger sets. The train and the castle is dotted about at the bottom. So they're the bottom three sets just there. And then we've got this, the brand new arrival for this big boy just here. So if you have picked this one up, he does look very, very impressive built. And I will more than likely use this as my screen grab anyway. So you probably saw this right at the very, very start. But it's quite nice that they got this on the new arrivals and they got this built up very, very quickly and him spinning around. I think the colours are really nice on him. It's a large thing. Um... Do you think it's worth the money? Don't forget they have got to pay for licensing and everything else like that. But it's a, it's definitely, definitely a big set. And then we'll finish with all the Lego picture magnets and all the other little bits and pieces on there, guys. But as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and I hope to catch you on the next one. Ta-da.